what I like to see in my students is when they are able to work kind of iteratively. A lot of students come to school uh, uh, with the idea that they first have to come up with a plan and then the rest of the task is to execute it. And I like to see when, when they kind of break out of that and when they, they kind of learn to be a bit fearless. Uh, I'm Radim Peško, I'm a graphic designer, um, Czech nationality, but living in London. I'm Tomáš Celizna, graphic designer as well, Czech as well, but living in Amsterdam. Yeah, well, it actually started with, uh, by meeting Kurt Finsten, the director of the school, and we met him at the uh, event which we organized, which was a graphic design biennale in Brno. And uh, he, he invited us here to actually do a workshop for us with the students. And uh, then through the conversations and the workshop we had, we, um, he asked us actually to develop the identity for the school. And we used the, the workshop as a, a workshops with students as a kind of a tool to produce actually, uh, to get the ideas what this identity uh, should be about. And how they actually see the school they are studying at, because that for us was the main thing to actually, um, you know, we were interested in their ideas about the place they picked up to study. What we like about uh, being here at Krabbe's Home or doing this whole project, which we call identity, but it's not really an identity in a classical kind of sense of the word, is that it kind of happens organically, it happens together with the students. We, we approach this uh, project through a series of exercises which we did with students and they were quite formal ones at the beginning so we asked them to come up with the, with the shapes which would be related to uh, uh, this place, Krabbe's home and um, we asked them to kind of look with different aspects of the, the of the school, so look at the structure maybe, how the school is structured, because it's very specific. Um, so um, we use that material which they have generated as a kind of a, almost as a kind of a sketchbook or a library of um, things, ideas, forms, bits and pieces, which we then uh, used and transformed into uh, it used in our work and, and it was since work into a typeface on the website. And, uh, I think what is nice uh, is that we give them very specific concrete tasks that are often um, done by hand. So for example in the first workshop they did a little bit of research into shapes or textures or objects that are around here and then they had to draw them. In the second workshop we worked with kind of mapping of the whole area and now in the workshop that we do now they look at um, specific places in around Krabbe's home and they kind of transform them into grids and visual representation and typographic representation of the place. You know, so we, we get a chance to, through this series of workshops, to kind of discover a bit about Krabbe's home that we would maybe not get from a single visit. And then, you know, using our past experience and uh, kind of knowledge about type design or web design, we can trans try to transfer that knowledge into very concrete and practical shapes, as the type needs to be, for example so that it's usable and that it can last for some time. Krabbe's home has a very clear rhythm. Rhythm of the day, which you can feel when you are here and take part of all the activities during the day, from the obvious one, breakfast, lunch and dinner, to the less obvious ones, which is the meeting or group meeting after the breakfast. Um, you, you, that kind of shapes the, the, the place. Similarly, there's a rhythm of semesters, there's a rhythm of a week, there's a rhythm of events that don't happen uh, every week, but maybe every month. Um, so we try to use this 
to give you uh, as a visitor to the website an impression of the place. So the website kind of talks to you or speaks to you, uh, telling you what's happening at Krabbe's home right now when you open the website. You could, you could say that Krabbe's home, the specificity it doesn't lie in one singular thing, but it's a combination of different aspects that I think we both would agree that they make the place special. It's not about one decision, it's not about you know, the fact that uh, there's no grades, which might be in other schools, but it's about there's no grades, you have a clear structure, there's a beautiful kind of campus with uh, always new artists or poets or writers coming in and influencing the students. Um, there's new buildings happening for the students, there are trips with the students. Well, for, for example, the fact that it's, it's so short, it's so intense, it's, um, it's a couple of months and uh, students are living basically on this campus and um, spending a lot of time together and it's, it, there's a certain intensity in that uh, where the study kind of uh, inter you know, somehow intertwines with your kind of private life and you know it's the sense of community here and having the shared you know meal and things like that so I would say that's that's very unique here, very specific.